even breathing hard in his corner. Tua looking exhausted. And Bird just goes back to his elusive boxing style. Uh, sort of underselling himself in our fighter meetings to us. We know it. Uh, if, if we lose, uh, move down to cruiserweight, stuff like that. One of the things I was very impressed with, even though he was losing almost every round, before Klitschko, he was walking him down until they eventually stopped him and awarded him the fight. He has the guts, he has the courage, he just doesn't have the real size, and that is sometimes a fact. You heard his dad in the corner say, listen, you can only take one minute, one split second of missing an opportunity, and you can get hurt. began as pure puncher versus pure boxer could end in pure hell for David Tua if he loses this fight. He's simply being outworked and outsmarted. trying to get out of harm's way, gets over to left, caught with a good left hook, but fights his way off the ropes and does a little dance and shows us that he's uh, good. He's happy. Got it. Three minutes of your life. Come on. Now, I'm going to tell you, Dave, Dave, this is it right here. Do you trust me? I'm going to tell you, you need this round. Do you hear me? He not only needs the round, he may need a knockout. Well, I'll tell you what, I have a lot closer than press row scoring. But I do believe he's in uh, the dangerous area of the point of no return already, yes. A crowd of close to 3,000, close to capacity. Really enjoying the action here at the Cox Pavilion in Las Vegas. David Tua in trouble. to 
just spin away from Tua. That was a desperation right hand to again, looking for that perfect punch. punches and the power punches or the pity pads. I don't I think that some of the press row were a little far out there for Bird. I didn't have my head as, as much as that. Although I do think he's I think he snuck it out in rounds eight, nine, and ten. I think those are the three key rounds for Bird. Very emotional scene right here. Chris Bird's wife Tracy. With the tears. I think many of joy. I want that Trinity is praying for me. This is for y'all, all people that are praying for Mikado. You know I'm there. Well, Bobby, in uh, response to your statement, nothing would surprise me. Power punch, buddy. Nothing here in Las Vegas. A very anxious David Tua standing by for the scores. Here we're going to take a look at Tua. Now, on the inside, Tua had been throwing nice, sharp shots in here, shots in here. Watch his wild right hand, it comes this way, and Bird ducks out of the way of it and counters back even though it's not real effective. But well, watch this big right hand. This is a home run ball. This is what we call a desperation punch. To it looks for the big one. Right there, misses, Bird out of the way. Again, hard to hit clean with big shots. You've got to work combinations to beat Chris Bird. Bird fought such an intelligent fight, and it could be once again back to the proverbial drawing board for David Tua after this one. And gentlemen, after 12 rounds of action, we have a unanimous decision. Here are the score totals. Judge at ringside, Paul Smith scores about 115 to 113. Judges Art Lurie and Chuck Jumpa both score about 116 to 112. All three in favor of the winner. And now the mandatory challenger for the IBF heavyweight crown. Chris Bird! Chris Bird breaks down in tears. You know, I can never understand.
understand when a woman did that until I won my first world title and I cried. So I, I can sympathize and empathize with that wonderful situation. So it's Chris Bird who awaits the winner of Rockmon Lewis, scheduled for November 17th. His wife, Tracy, ecstatic. You have no idea. My son loves her. It is Bird who's guaranteed a shot at the IBF belt. Let's waste no time. Get it up to Jim Gray. Jim.